Hey, Hotspot says, Israel's Channel 13 details the testimonies of those held captive by Hamas. They were treated fairly, given good food, given medication, and allowed to stay close to family and friends. They also issue an extensive apology to the elder woman. So the TV states. I they, that woman. They had tea. So they were saying this woman, I don't know how you say her name, something lift shits who was accused of lying about how well she was treated by Hamas for the sake of her husband. So she was oh. treated well by the Hamas, and then they, the, the Zionists smeared her, saying she was lying. Well, what a piece of shit she would have been if she had been lying to save her husband. By the way, why aren't you trying to save her husband, IDF? Uh, okay, here we go. <laughs> So this is Israeli TV turning on the Zionists. That's what this is. And turn it down, so I'll, I'll, read, I'll read what he says. So he says, The stories match the story of that Lifshitz woman. They entered a very long tunnel, many kilometers, some of them on bikes with Hamas men, others on foot. And this was probably towards the area of the Khan Yunus Hospital. And there, most of the time, they were held together. They said they were not harmed or humiliated. There was not so much food as they saw. They, some of them lost weight. But Hamas tried to provide their needed medications every day. Some days, medications could not be provided, but Hamas tried to provide the medications every day. Oh, because they blew up their hospitals? But couldn't always succeed at that. They said that most of them were held together, holding meetings and lectures, telling each other stories, doing activities. And because they were all held together, guess what? They gave them the strength to keep going underground, keep going when they were underground. Some of them heard on the radio inside the tunnels about their relatives who died on Saturday. And others were told yesterday that some of their family members died on that day. All the hostages were together. This is important. And they speak of good conditions and good treatment from Hamas, plus the medications. They were not treated violently or humiliated. Of the interesting facts you told us, they were from the kibbutz. They kept their daily routine. Even there, there were lectures and joint activities. So they're allowed to do their kibbutz activities. What? I thought they were having uh, their baby heads chopped off. I thought they were chopping baby heads and raping everybody. Turns out, no. And that, and so what they were allowed to do their kibbutz activities, that helped them stay strong because they were all together. Are you sure the Hamas wasn't taking Viagra so they could rape more? They felt they were a community. Hang on, let me back that up. They felt they, they were a community even there. And here we should say that many of us attacked that Lipschitz lady. So now they're doing a mea culpa. She said the same exact things, but received a very bad treatment from us, meaning the people in the news. They accused her of causing a PR disaster and lying for they the They accused her of causing a PR disaster. They accused her of lying for the sake of her husband. They accused her of being brainwashed by Hamas. Wait, 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 wait. How? Yet every word she said was the truth. This is Israeli TV. This well, isn't me. This is, is I'm just reading what the, they said on Israeli TV. Go ahead. What? So not only is their media way more moral than ours, apparently, yeah, because they're apologizing. They're more moral than their government, who apparently think that if your a loved one is being held hostage and what happened to you doesn't fit their narrative, you should shut up about it uh, because it could be a PR disaster. <laughs> could, oh, you're just trying to protect your loved one's life. What about the PR? What kind of scumbag thing is that? So let's list what else they said. Every word she said was the truth, according to Israeli TV newsman. And these released hostages, now they say the same things about because they were all held together. And so this is the first step, Kurt, in the massive shift from Zionism back to traditional Judaism. That's what this, they're done, I think you... When the media has already begun to turn and you are the one still holding on to the old news, that's your ego running the show. Well, also keep in mind, Israel has no constitution. Part of the reason that people were mad and marching was because, oh, oh you know, Israel's right to defend itself, right? They don't have an individual. They don't have a right to bear arms. They don't have a constitution. That, they have the most restrictive gun laws. They're handing out guns now after the attacks, but is, the Israelis were mad. So the idiots here 
And, and you know, I want to wait till I hear from Michael Rappaport before I judge this, uh -huh. obviously. But more or John Lovitz or John Lovitz. Yeah, the, the uninformed dum dums that live here have no idea. They think all of Israel's in this one party called the "We're All Jews" and "Jews Are Israel" party. And meanwhile, in Israel, they have different opinions and political parties. And well, the only democracy in the Middle East has no constitution. Supposed to have one back in 1948. Didn't get around to it. Really? The, yeah. I looked at it. The government didn't want to be constrained with, uh, you know. Uh, so imagine. So that's the amazing democracy that, that they have That doesn't have there. a constitution. No right to bear arms. You can go settle in, but not have it. Only authorities can have guns. They don't have gun rights there. So here's, you know what else died in Gaza? The myth of Western humanity and democracy. That's right. They don't democracy. have that there. They don't have that there. That's all a big lie. I want to know from my American friends. Now, Fairness to them have told me about a lot of this. I did not know they have no constitution. And when they go, what, does Israel have a right to defend itself? Well, not on an individual basis. No, it doesn't. It's not like America. Authority figures get to be armed, but not regular people, which is weird because I thought you wanted everybody to be safe. I thought Jews are supposed to be safe. Nah, not against their own government. They're not. We're doing live comedy shows in Oxnard, California, Venice, California, Palmdale, California, Omaha, Nebraska, Des Moines, Milwaukee, Lansing, Michigan, Bend, Oregon, Portland, Oregon, Seattle, Washington, and Boston. Plus, we're going to put a date in Edmonton, Canada, plus Vancouver. See ya. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for all those tickets. Mm -hmm.